Alright everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. I am Black Belt Bob Man. And this is Sierra. And we're going to explore Sleeping Beauty. A classic. Disney movie that I... When did that come out? Like mid-60s? No. It was in like the 40s. Really? I think so. Huh. I thought there was a big... Nah, whatever. Nah, I'm pretty yeah. sure, but I'm going to look it up right now. It was either the 40s or the 50s. It's old school. Uh, 1959. Uh, yeah, 59. We were close. We were both kind of close. We were sort of, yeah. This is an all-new world. This is, this is brand new. new. This is not in any of the other games. The now, <clears throat> one of the things about... One of the reasons why you should play as Terra first, or that, or how you can tell that Nomura kind of intended you to play as Terra first, is there's all these scenes that sort of introduce the world. You know what I mean? So like, he's teleporting in from the lanes between. He's introducing the inverse. Um, there's not as much of this with the other characters. There's a little bit, but not quite as much. Uh, so here's some combat. Those are those unversed are called flood. Not like Halo. No, not like Halo at all, actually. And uh, you might a... notice if you've played the original that they are uh, purple. That is one of the big. That's probably the biggest difference between Final Mix and, and Vanilla Birth by Sleep. The unversed are all different colors. Unversed. Uh, the shiny versions. Yeah, kind of like shiny versions. Unversed are, uh, replace Heartless as the big bads in this game. So all the bad guys are unversed in this game. God, Nintendo could make a killing off of Pokemon games where everything was shiny. Why would you want... But then shinies wouldn't be as valuable because it's there's not a 1 in 9,000 or whatever chance of you getting it. I can't even remember. I used to know the exact probability. It's like one in nine thousand one hundred forty-two. Oh yeah, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't have videos like that one guy like manually grinding out uh, whatever it was, and then fucking it up and like blowing his brains out on YouTube. Isn't there one of a guy like getting a shiny and then crying? He had like eight Game Boys going at once or something. I don't know. Anyway, so um, <laughs> Critical Impact is Terra's first command style. You saw it there. Uh, it's from using moves like Quick Blitz. Uh, if you use those commands, you'll transform into Critical no, Impact. Don't. It changes your combo style. Um, it makes it faster and stronger. And then the finishing move is a lot more devastating. Uh, finishing moves, by the way, in this game, um, there are tons. There's actually a branching tree of finishing moves that you can unlock through certain... They're all different, but uh, it's very difficult to tell, actually. It doesn't actually tell you in-game, but... Um, that looks like a fun place to go. Why would you... I, I guess, I mean, if you want to explore in a fire, like... Now is no time to explore this flaming forest. Aww. It's green fire. This looks really rare. We should stick around and check it out for a bit. I know, he's, he's doing a science experiment. So, commands, you have a command deck. You can meld the two commands to make new, better commands. Uh, the crystal items that I'm picking up, you can attach those to the commands that you're melding, and you get abilities. Abilities um, are, like, the, like I said before, they're like the abilities of previous games. They're passive bonuses that affect um, what you do, your combos. Um, your defenses, things like that. Oh, in addition to attack, um, magic, and attack commands, there are also movement commands, um, which is another thing I'll be showing off, but those are pretty interesting. So this is... And here's the world name, in case in you forgot, or didn't see it on the... Enchanted Dominion. It's got the thorns, because, you know... Sleeping Beauty, and uh, and here here she is, Miss America. Maleficent rocks. What's this? 
I feel like people are kind of confused about Maleficent. Maleficent's actually a fairy, an evil fairy. Who are you? Why? Certainly doesn't look very fairy-like. No, but I mean, you know, that movie's all about fairies, dick basically. I'm Terra. Gang wars between good fairies and bad fairies. What do you know about those monsters? But what are good? What are good and evil? The ones who attacked me. To us. What is a man? Now why would I give uh, a thought to creatures so base, so inconsequential? Just trying to get by in the world. <laughs> yeah. And they are base. That's for sure. They are base. I anyway, read that as all your base, and now I'm I feel looking really bad. Good. Um, <laughs> Ever heard of a man named Xehanort? <laughs> so, Maleficent, you know, is sort of a that name an is ongoing antagonist to me. throughout the series. Is he an outsider like she, yourself? Uh, she looks very video gamey. I think that's why. Oh, but wait. I think that's why they picked her. I do remember. Yeah, and I mean, she's also probably the, the evilest of Tell all me. the, the most he evil doing of there? all the Disney villains. I mean, I couldn't she's say. fucking. Evil. I can only be certain he was not from evil this. Evil magic, kingdom. evil. She has evil magic monster Go grunts see the that for do her bidding, and evil magic there, crows. The and the just the does evilness yeah, for everyone. <laughs> Horns. She's got horns. Perhaps he did she turns into a fucking dragon. The light. the light could be so many things. Could he have meant Princess Aurora? Aurora. Yeah, just go. Yeah, she seems legit. Let's follow her advice. Oh, hey, you should go do something. Okay. Totally not evil looking woman. Well, it's not like there's much else to do out here. It's a pretty much it's a, a linear big path. Yeah, well, there's a reason for that. Remember in Sleeping Beauty? The bridge was really huge in Sleeping Beauty, too. Not Sleeping Beauty, sorry, also not. I'm sure there was a direct to video Sleeping Beauty 2, and now I don't actually want to know about it. Um, so, you may have noticed that. There are basically there are unverse that reflect. Um, for the most part, there's like one to one a uh, a heartless that they're kind of imitating. So like the flood are obviously shadows. The scrappers are soldiers. Scrappers are the little guys. These guys are called thorn bites. I don't think there's a heartless. Um, there's one of those like unique to a given world heartless. I would imagine those are all new for this game, but yeah, these yeah. little floods and yeah. the big guys. Yeah, the basically the the ones boss. that the ones that um, are reoccurring throughout all the worlds. Uh, the big guys are called bruisers. Those red pot looking things are called red hot chilies. Uh -huh. oh boy. Yeah, and they're obviously weak against Blizzard, but. Um, Terra's magic is so hilariously bad that even using Blizzard on them barely does anything. Yeah, this little ice missile seems to be working great. Not working. No, you know what? If Aqua used it, they'd all be, like, bleeding. Alright, something leveled up. Oh, <laughs> your commands level up. Then they get stronger. But, uh, the most important thing about leveling them up is if you have an ability attached to a command, and once you master the command, the ability becomes permanent. So you can permanently have every ability, basically, uh, by the end of the game, and uh, you probably so should. Does, so there's no AP in this game, at least not in no, the way that it was in previous games? No, there's no AP. That lets you use a certain amount of like passive skills? Nope, you can have all the passive skills equipped at once. Um, they're not quite as powerful, but... but is, there like AP, is there an AP stat, or is that now associated with leveling up commands? No, I mean, abilities are just abilities, and you can equip them and unequip them kind of at your leisure. Ha! Take that, support pillar. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, don't die. You seem to be getting your ass kicked in a couple of these fights. The beginning of this game seems pretty tough. Yeah, oh. this game's a dick at the beginning. So, um, yeah, one of the problems with playing Critical is it's really easy to die early on. Um, mostly because you don't have good abilities yet. Well, this looks important, what you just did. Yeah, so dim so dimensional links were mentioned before a couple times, but um, they do a couple of things. So you, so I, right now I'm dimensional linking with Aqua. You can see I have a bunch of magic commands, um, because obviously Aqua is the magician of the three. And uh, 
So when you delink with someone, you get commands that reflect them, uh, what they're like, and then also, um, well, one of the nicest things is it actually fully heals you. Uh, so you can use it in a pinch to heal you, and uh, it, you oh, get their finishing moves. And then uh, each one has three levels. There's the basic level. Right now it's sort of in the e intermediate level, so I gained this ability called Magic Deflector that randomly, 50% of the time when I'm hit with an elemental attack, it will be nullified. So you actually get a lot of really cool passive bonuses that are unique to each D-Link. And once you level it up twice by collecting two of those, uh, the levels are permanent. So right now it's permanently at the intermediate level. But if I level it up again by collecting another one of those stars, then it actually transforms into like the sort of advanced level where um, uh, the person's picture changes and... Uh, you get better abilities. So um, next time, next time you use that D link, you'll still have the magic deflector. Right. Oh, okay. and I forgot to mention about the stickers. Those those little crowns that are hanging out. Those are stickers. Um, the stickers. You put them. There's a there's a sticker album, and what it is is uh, you put the stickers in to create a picture. If you put the stick, and you get points for each sticker you put in. If you put the sticker in the correct place in the picture, you get bonus points. Fill it all out, and you get some amazing stuff. Um, some of it's, well, some of it's amazing, some of it isn't. Um, the prizes are very different in uh, this game than they were in the vanilla version. And I don't think it was even in uh, the Japanese version, but I can't remember. Um, that, by the way, that command that I used that... Uh, knocked all those guys into the air is zero gravity, and that's one of my favorite commands. Uh, zero gravity is fantastic. Uh, they brought back Magnet for this game, and it's just as amazing as it was in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. No reflect this time, unfortunately. But you, like I said, there are movement and uh, you know non-attack abilities that you can actually make your blocks heal you or restore your focus gauge, which is what you use for shot locks. Um, or things this like that. So familiar. So, you, there's an amazing amount of custom Her customization that you light. can do for your Not characters. The slightest touch Good of God, darkness. where did she come from? Just the kind of heart I need. For what? Imagine with I don't know. I just feel like Tara just. She just has no idea. No hearts, he's just he's so naive. When I don't know what together, the fuck, but he just they like. Grant the power to rule all well, if everybody was competent, there wouldn't be mean? a game, would there? Why? I guess somebody had to fuck up somewhere, and it had to be Terra. So. The Keyblade is it called? Where did you learn that name? Terra's like. That trinket is the only way to obtain the hearts. He, he's no just so easily manipulated. Where is Master Xehanort? Manipulated. Impudence will get you nowhere, child. And he just lets if it happen. If you wish to learn more. You must retrieve the heart of Aurora. So this is, um, you'll remember from Kingdom I Hearts 1, do that? Seven Maidens, it's the Seven Pure what, uh, Hearts, the will. Seven Princesses of Light, In your who heart, have pure hearts that are just de completely devoid of darkness, um, and Aurora <laughs> was one of them. Aurora, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, talking about? Alice, or, um, not yet. Jasmine, I um, have power over <laughs> I don't know, Pocahontas. Who the fuck was the other one? <laughs> Kyrie counted as one. Shh. To be who you truly Spoilers. Are. Oh. Remember. I mean, that's just spoilers for Kingdom Hearts heart. 1. I mean, darkness is our foe. Darkness. Would that we darkness. could be rid of it. One of the things about this game, you darkness, it, it kind of assumes that you, darkness, dark have played down. Kingdom Hearts Give 1. No quarter in your uh, you can play it without having played Kingdom Hearts 1, but I feel like you won't get as much out of it. You know? That's why I always suggest people play in release order. Things will make the most sense, which is not 100%, Ooh. but... And that's the inspirational speech that just gives in anyway. Oh, he doesn't really Let's put a counter on screen for the, all the times Terra does something really stupid. Like and and, and how many times people say darkness as well? Oh god. 
take up the whole screen by the end of the game. Here it is. Just oh, what that I've doesn't look. For. That looks painful. Heartburn. Tara just oh. she's but the thing is she hypnotized him so it's not Do you like think that all he spoke of was and she's, will she's be true stupid I mean no I like Maleficent but he's how did I... he's dumb to not realize that she you you know what did I do con was controlling what him. did you do you speak as if I pulled some invisible strings but she did. No, She's just you fucking... couldn't be further from the truth. Y'all know that Xehanort showed I up and said, Hey, this guy's coming. You, you need inside. to do this to him. <laughs> if you talk to him like this, he'll How totally believe this? everything you say. Then! Huh? Blah. Yes. I don't know what now, just happened. You want to know where Xehanort went? Um. Well. That I can't Man, say I know it, that's a cool name. Oh, he disappeared they come into the it? darkness. But now I know the Keyblade is necessary to gather hearts. So after all that, he doesn't even find Join me. Sad times. Collect six more hearts of pure light. Then we will I guess rule that... all the world So together. they need the Keyblade to release their hearts, but I guess that explains why they were just... Up. Kidnapping them in Kingdom Hearts I'm a 1 because they couldn't actually get them straight up. <laughs> uh. hmm. For a peacekeeper, you're off to an exceptionally poor start. Oh fuck! Yep. Remember that hurts. This. Ow! That the stings, man. <sighs> be held back man, even even the writers knew that Terra's a fucking idiot. No. So. My so the running theme of Tara's story is, is whoops, I accidentally made st Wasn't stuff worse while I was trying to make it better. Wait. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can kind of predict it pretty well. Like he's going to try and do something, and you're going to be like, well, this is going to turn out the poorly. They're going to bring down the castle. I have to do something. What? How does... What? No, don't do anything. Because no. you obviously can't do anything right. And just right to add now. insult to injury, he forms a dimensional link with Maleficent because of that scene. So, great. While everyone else in uh, everyone else is going to be forming D-links with, you know, the people they become friends with, he's D-linking with the evil fairy that, you know, put mind control on him. There's another sticker. Um, and then this next item. It's pretty interesting. Um, so recipes in this game are, I think, a, a new... No, there were recipes in the other games. The recipes before were about synthesis. In this one, they're about command melding. So what it is is you can see... So with the attack recipe, if you're making like a kind of low-level attack command, you can see the result um, instead of it just being question marks. Normally you can't see the result, but I'm pretty sure everyone just used a, a guide anyway. <laughs> like you. Yes, so the next boss is actually weak to poison, so picking up poison is a really good idea here. So speaking of command melding, let's just real quick show this. So, Quick Blitz. Uh, you're given Quick Blitz, a quick blitz with scan on it. Um, you have to get it. So I'm going to keep both those abilities, and now... I'm going to make this new command, Strike Raid, which also has Air Combo Plus attached to it. Now, once I master this Strike Raid, Air Combo Plus is permanent. So I permanently have one of the three Air Combo Pluses that I can equip. How do you... How do you... How long does it take to master commands? What level? Uh, it's three? all different. Different for each one. Hmm. So you can see there's different kinds of abilities. You can equip and unequip them. Some you can't unequip. You can't unequip scan, because why the fuck would you do that? But, uh... So I'm just gonna kill a couple foos here. He's pretty vicious, that little... I thought you said he was slow. <laughs> yeah, I figure, you know... Oh, there is uh, zero gravity again. Bam. Oh, I mastered Stun Edge. Stun Edge is actually a lightning attack, so you can get some pretty cool shit with it. So this boss is a giant dick. 
just want everybody to know this. The music's fantastic, though. I fucking love it. Sounds like it should be in, like, a top-down shooter. It's like a... There's, like, a fucking rave going on in here. Um, so this is a spinning wheel. Very appropriate. His name is Wheelmaster. Um, do, 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 do. He's a, do, got a... He's do, got... Do, do, do. He's got a couple of attacks. No. Um, he's, Does anybody know that song? He's got that spinny... He's got that spinning move, he's got the jump, which creates a shockwave, and then he throws the wheel at you. Um, you could see there for a second that the poison was sapping his health a little bit, so that's helpful. Um, he has three targets, the wheel, the spindle, and his body, or the needle. But uh, you can destroy them if you destroy them, you just get some HP balls, it's nothing huge. Um, your shot locks, by the way, are commands that you equip, and or you equip your shot locks, and they level up as well, like commands, and you can actually make them through command melding. Sometimes you'll very rarely get one as a reward, and, uh, oh. Oh no. Yeah, remember I said the beginning of this game is pretty hard? It's really easy to die early on. And there's a t there's an annoying thing where if you use um, if you have potions equipped, if you use items and you hit retry, they don't actually um, reload your items. So if you use all your potions and then hit retry, you'll come back with zero potions. Is that a critical mode thing? Uh, no, that's Screw just that's just the game. game. No idea. Yeah. Um, if you block, if you block the wheel, it slows down a lot quicker, which is nice. Yeah, there you could see his uh, his health was draining very slowly a little bit. So the poison's very helpful. Um, but of course I'm Tell dealing me. half damage. It's also oh, possible... Can actually exploit. What? I think that's cool in JRPGs when they actually give the boss a weakness. Right. I mean, he's immune to everything but poison, so it's like... they were, That's why they put poison there. They were like, by the way, poison. Um... Yeah, they, they tend to do that. It's like, oh, this boss is susceptible to blind, so you have to blind him before he does Herbert Airport. I don't know. Um, sometimes, very rarely, you can stun him with just a regular attack uh, or a regular command, and that, um, that'll drop some HP balls. So they're kind of forgiving, but he still is a dick. This is his last attack, or his second last attack. If that hits you, it starts to slowly drain your health. And I think it drains your focus gauge as well. Um, but I'm not sure. And then uh, you have to mash buttons to get out of it. I believe you have to mash circle. Um, so that move is really can be really difficult to dodge if you don't know what you're doing. Um, he uh, He's going to kind of circle around you a bit and then at the last second turn towards you. And you have to dash out of the way right at the perfect moment. Now, it might look like he has a lot of health left, but I'm ac actually accidentally targeting his arm. Uh, I was thinking about destroying all three bits, but uh, it didn't work out that way. So, Terra, Terra's dash sucks, by the way. Um, the other two have uh, kind of avoidance moves that... Um, make it so that they have tons of invincibility frames. Terra does not. He only gets a few invincibility frames, so it's really easy for him to die while dashing. Um, so for beating him, I got another slot in my command deck, uh, which is awesome. It's my fault. Her light was and I learned Diamond Dust, which is another command style you get for shockingly I'm using sorry. ice commands. I'll get you also get a back. guilt complex. <laughs> Everything this poor girl's heart Once out. I learn to stand up against the darkness. Yeah, that's... Uh, He's got to fight the darkness. Darkness, darkness, Why would darkness. Master Xehanort imprison the light? How fucking dense is he? The purest hearts of light. Do they hold the answer? Well, I better go capture all the rest of their hearts then. Herp derp derp. He's such an idiot. Seven pure hearts, each completely void of darkness. Such a search... May take some time. Or shadowing, not really. So we're all so Terra is all done with uh, Enchanted Dominion now. Yes. We won't be seeing this again until 
Well, we'll see a little bit more of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, worlds are pretty short because you play through them each three times, go to different areas, meet different people, have different plot threads. They go there at different times in the overall timeline and uh, fight different bosses. So uh, next time we will be exploring uh, Cinderella's world. Don't miss it. Cool. See you then.